Hey guys, it's Issa and today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup really to school, like I just curl my lashes and like do my eyebrows. Like I don't really do like this to school. But if I'm like going out with friends, my go-to makeup routine and I love it so much and I've been like getting some questions on how I do my eyeliner and my eyebrows so I just thought I would just make a video about it because I love doing my makeup and yeah. If you guys are new to Julie and I's channel then be sure to subscribe and yeah so let's get started so I just washed my face and then I put on like lotion and everything and then lip balm I highly recommend this stuff it is not a glue stick I promise it's the Palmer's cocoa butter first thing that I always do is I do my eyebrows I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit you guys can see a little better so I'm just going to brush them with this spoolie I use the Anastasia this thing the duo powder it is in the color brunette so what I do is I just get the brush that they give you a little angled brush like so like that I always just go down the middle so you just get both colors I don't really use one color specifically on one spot so once you get the product on your brush I just put a little bit right here and then once I have one little stroke I go to the very bottom tip and I do a line like that. I drag from that line upwards and this makes the illusion that your eyebrows all start at like one solid place down there. Okay, if you put too much, just use your finger. As you can see the difference between my eyebrows though, I just get around here and I just draw a line and go down. Let's go line and then I go down. So I just kind of go in and I just make that line and the bottom of my eyebrow kind of more defined. And then you always want to brush it with the spoolie, which is the other side of this, because it blends all your stroke marks. I'm just going to apologize right now for the lighting. Like, it's like there's clouds, and then sometimes there's not clouds. So. Next, after I'm done with my eyebrows, I put on this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So it just keeps my eyebrows in place lace all day so now my eyebrows are all complete do my contour and highlight not even particularly contour but it just makes your face look more bronzed and colored <laughs> colorful bronzer that I use it is the, the Lorac tantalizer I only use a highlight I do not recommend the Lorac highlighter because at least this one is like super powdery and it just it doesn't give you a highlight bronzer is amazing it's like matte I use this brush it is from Zanya Kashuk in 20. It's just a brush, it's my mom's old brush, she gave it to me and it works pretty good for contouring. We're gonna... <laughs> and I just get a little bit of product, don't wanna get too much. So I would suggest doing that with your face because it, I don't know, it helps. <laughs> so I just kind of like hover underneath my cheekbone so, but I like concentrate it like right here in front of my ear and then just drag it down. You don't want to drag it down to your mouth. You just want to go like right there. Then you want to drag just a little bit down. Like I don't do a ton, but just like the extra stuff that's on my brush. So I get more product and I go to the center of my forehead and then I just drag it down along my hairline. Also want to do your nose. I do this on my nose mainly because since this is a powder, you're putting on your nose, sweat so much on my nose and I feel like this helps mattify it a little bit. I don't even like stroke it. And what I'll do, I don't know why I just did that with my mouth, it doesn't affect anything. And it honestly really helps. But just right here, I don't go to the center because that is where your highlight's gonna go. So now that we're all done with the bronzer, I'm gonna close that up. The highlight. I have experimented with lots of different highlighters. I, for the longest time, would use powder highlighters. Actually, funny story, I wouldn't even use a real highlighter. Like, I have this palette from L'Oreal, literally from the sixth grade, and these two colors, I would mix them, and it would make the perfect highlight, and it was so beautiful. Except, it was very, like, light, if you know what I mean, and this bronzer I got for my birthday it is the uh, NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, and this is the darker shade. It's in the color Gleam. And I love this one because it's like, it's a bronzy undertone. And so like, yes, it gives you great highlight, but it also it's kind of like darker. And this is a liquid one, so it's gonna last a lot longer. You'll need a damp beauty blender. Squeeze it and I just do little dots on there. And then I put just a little bit on my chin. Just the excess that's on there, I just put on my nose. And then we're done, you know, it looks real good. So next, I just got my beauty blender and 
blend it. And you want to just dab it, and I just dab it a little downward so it's not like just a single line. Look at that highlight. So carrying on with the whole highlight thing, I am next going to use the same Anastasia like brow kit thing, but I'm using the highlight they give you. Hold on. And I'm just going to take that on this Eco Tools brush in the shade one. It's just a flat shader brush. Get some highlight and I'm going to go straight under the brow. And yeah. then I'm going to put a little bit like going forward, but not a ton. That's why we're not, we didn't use the liquid highlighter under here. Oh, I'm going to use this brush, a fluffy like crease brush. I'm just going to use the same color I used in my contour and I'm going to put it in my crease. It makes it look more like cohesive. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my brush and I'm just going to put it, not, not even a lot, like you can barely even tell, but just like on my lid and like direct, directing a little bit towards my crease. I have super straight eyelashes as you can probably tell it looks like I have no eyelashes right now because they're just like so like the angle you can't like tell they're there at all and so what I do is I will curl my eyelashes and then I do my eyeliner and then I put a mascara because if I do my eyeliner and then curl my eyelashes I don't know why but like the way I stick this to like my lash line it like makes the eyeliner come off and like smear and stuff I don't even know what brand it is, it's just from Marshalls, it's a super generic one. If you guys know a really good eyelash curler, please comment below. So I angle my head like up a little bit. See, like it looks so much better. I wish that like I could get my eyelashes like a perm, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So next I'm doing the winged eyeliner, which just, mmm, like, it's a great time. Oh, I use the Stila All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in black. It is the best eyeliner. And also the applicator is like this, so it's very easy to use. They last like a year. Like, I'm not even kidding you. There's many different ways you can do your eyeliner to make your eye look a different shape. And I like to personally make my, like, my eyes look more almond shaped. Typically do a straighter line, because if you were to curve it up, your eyes are gonna look like, more round. So where my last lashes like flick up, that's the line that I follow. So I just draw a line like that. So you just have a line. And also you want it to angle towards the last hair on your eyebrow. So then once I do that, I just close my eye. And I just drag that line towards the middle like so. Um, there's so many different ways you can do your eyeliner, but this personally works best for me. I just end it gradually in the middle. So this is going to be a great tip for all of you people. It's not like the crispest line that I can accomplish. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need makeup removing wipes. What I do is I wrap my finger around it and I make it to a little point like where my nail is. I'm going to put on mascara and oh my gosh, mascara. So I was like in middle school, I have bought probably 20, well like over 20 different mascaras trying to find one that's good for me because since my eyelashes are so stick straight, I curl them, they're looking good, I put mascara to make them look a little like better, and then pew, I discovered like not even that long ago that if you have stick straight eyelashes, you use waterproof mascara. It works so well, but at the same time, waterproof mascara, like a pain to get off. I use, this stuff is so amazing, it's really expensive, but this is like the travel size. It is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And it is specifically made for like people with stick straight eyelashes. And it's not waterproof, so it's easy to get off. Last but not least, this isn't like a thing I always do, but I just got this product and I love it so much. Tartiste Glossy Paint. So it's like a lip gloss, but it's very pigmented. It's in the color Double Tap. Okay, can we just take a moment to appreciate the packaging? Here is the completed look. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Um, this is what it looks like. It's so weird not having Julie here. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you so much for almost 20K subscribers. That is insane. I love you guys so much and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>